Hi everyone, I'm Ben Chow. We've been getting a lot of uh, really good questions on our DLMM recently, and I thought it'd be really helpful to uh, give everyone a demo on how the DLMM works and explain maybe a few things that are new to folks. So why don't we get started? All right, if you go to the DLMM pools page, you'll see the list of current pools that we have on offer. Uh, generally, they're, they're sorted by uh, uh, volume and fees. So the one, the pools at the top are usually some of the highest uh, fee generating pools. But if you don't see a pool that you'd like to see, uh, feel free to hit us up and we'll work with you to get up a new DLM pool. All right. The first thing to note is that when you're looking at this 24 hour fee over TVL, this 1.8% is not your APR. Um, what that means is across this entire pool, on average, uh, uh, this pool is earning 1.8% per day. So if you're looking to get to an APR number, you would multiply this by 365, and this would take you to an APR of around 680%. And this is on average. So there are definitely LPs that are making a lot more than that. And in general, the more active you are as an LP, the better you earn. So why don't we click into this whole USDC pool so we can check a few things out. All right, so there are two really, uh, a few really unique and powerful uh, attributes of the DLM that aren't found on any other uh, AMM on Solana today. Uh, the first one is this dynamic fee. So what this means is that uh, the fee in the pool increases as price volatility increases or as the rate uh, the the price changes at increases right so what does this mean this means that as an lp you are able to capture more value earn more fees uh, the more the market price is changing and which means that traders in general have less sensitivity to price impact um, for this pool you can see that the base price is 0.05 percent the max fee is 10 percent and that so far since midnight we've collected around uh, thirty five thirty five hundred dollars all right so let's take a look at what it's like to add liquidity all right so you click on this tab you can add liquidity uh, i'm going to do a balanced deposit so equal parts soul and equal parts usdc so as you can see liquidity is distributed in uh, the dlm quite differently than other um, uh, clamps uh, basically we this is the other unique thing about our dlm but but uh liquidity is organized in these zero slippage bins. So basically at each bin represents a price point and you can specify the depth of liquidity in your, uh, for each price point for you. So the really neat part about this is that not only is it zero slippage bins, but you can precisely uh, concentrate your liquidity. Uh, and this opens up a whole world of new LP strategies. Um, in this UI, we've, started off with three basic strategies. So there's spot, curve, and bid ask. Um, but really, you know, if you use our SDK, uh, there's a whole, uh, an entirely, there's infinite realm of, of possibilities you could use this for. This is sort of just a, a way to get started. Now spot is your classic uh, sort of um, uh, strategy where liquidity is evenly distributed across your price range. It's the most similar to um, any LP, if you've used any clam before, uh, this is probably the most similar uh, sort of experience you might have. Um, you can reshape it into curve, and this curve is even further concentrates your liquidity. You can see that the depth of your liquidity is much higher, uh, closer to the market price. This is great for stable liquidity or or markets where the price doesn't move as much. Uh, and we also um, introduced a bid ask uh, strategy, which is similar, you know, you can use it in a lot of different ways. One of them really is sort of like being able to DCA into a position. So as as the price of soul is uh, growing, you might, you're, you could add more liquidity, death, meaning you're, you're willing to sell more of your soul as, um, as, the, as the price uh, from, from the current market price. Uh, deviates further. And similarly for USDC, you'd sell more of your USDC and buy more soul uh, as the price moves from the market price. Now, one way to 
further concentrate is to uh, narrow your price range. Right now, this price range is from 74.4 to 78.5, uh, and and I could drag these bars in here to really concentrate my liquidity across a smaller price range. And this would allow you to earn a lot more fees. Uh, but you'd also have to monitor when the price moves out of range uh, a lot more quickly. So uh, uh, if you're curious about these gray bars here, these gray bars indicate the entire pool liquidity distribution across the range that you're seeing. And you can see that it's, it's a little bit higher on this side and a lot smaller on this side. Uh, one other cool thing you can do with um, this thing is, is that this liquidity does not have to be um, oriented around the current market price uh, and it doesn't have to be two-sided. You could actually make it one-sided. So say say I, I think that the price of soil is going to grow and what I might want to do is um, uh, distribute across a, a different range and wait for the price to, to catch up. And so you can do a one-sided uh, deposit here um, uh, and, and actually also, you know, sort of change this curve, uh, um, you know, from, <clears throat> you, you can specify different strategies uh, within this one-sided range, right? And so this could be a way to also like um, DCA Okay, uh, so the other thing you can do, you could certainly change it by uh, typing in a price. So if you have a specific price in mind, you could do 76.82 uh, to 77.4, 77.4, right? And that might be a way to do it as well. Now, the one thing to note about this is that there is a max of 69 bins per, uh, um, per, uh, per position. Uh, this is currently an SVM limitation that we're uh, looking to work around and improve. Uh, so if you do need a wider range, which you will for very volatile pairs, you'll need to create more than one position. So, so for example, if I if I um, if I uh, create this position here, now one thing you'll note is that for large positions, we needed to split out the split out the uh, split everything out into three transactions. So, if one of the transactions were to fail, or the adding liquidity were to fail, you would. Um, you would need to uh, um, retry. You may, you may need to unwrap your soul and retry. Now you can see I've created this thing. You can see one of the neat things is you can see that um, if you wanted to, you could just have it sit here. And as trades, uh, as trading is happening in your uh, in your position, uh, you can see the um, uh, the the your balance and your fees update. Uh, somewhat in real time. Now, there's a few things I'd probably want to note. Um, what you enter in here when you add liquidity, right? Um, and you can continue to add liquidity in this shape. You can, you can, you know, if you, if you wanted to, you can start making more complicated shapes. So, like you can see, I can, I, if I were to add liquidity that was in the curve model, you can see I'm, all of a sudden it went from an even distribution all the way to like a, a more um, a more curved distribution, right? Um, now you're seeing as trade is happening, uh, you can see that the the amount of USDC and SOL in my in my positions is, is changing as as trades are happening, and you can see I'm earning some fees here for for trading. Uh, ba basically, uh, I am uh, selling my USDC for more SOL and earning some SOL fee. <clears throat> okay, um, one thing to note about this. Uh, this active bin is that we may not, when you add liquidity, we may not take all the all the all the assets that you input in here, and that's because in this current bin, you can see there's a there's a, a ratio, there's a balance between USDC and SOL, and what we try to do when you're when we're trying to deposit add liquidity into the active bin, 
is we want to do a balanced deposit. And this is so that you, you, um, you don't suffer any uh, loss uh, um, where, where if you were to do an imbalance deposit, uh, uh, some of your, some of that would be armed away. So what, what, uh, what we do here is that we may, we may take less than you expect, uh, only because this, this tra the trading in the active bin is changing the ratio of, um, USD to Sol, And so we're trying to match that as best we can. Now, if I wanted to withdraw, it'd be, I would just click the withdraw tab. I can change the amount I want to withdraw for. Um, let's say it's 100%. Um, so I can remove 100% of this. And <clears throat> in order to fully close the position, you will need to remove all your liquidity. You could also, uh, you would then need to um, claim all the, the fees. As you can see, there's no more liquidity here. And then finally, you can close the position. Okay, so I think this explains a lot some of the basics on how the DLMM works. You know, one of the things you'll need to know is, um, uh, oh, let me give you an example. Like if your price goes out of range, um, you may need to, uh, um, what will happen is that you'll sell all, you'll have, you'll end up either with all USDC or all soul. Then it would be up to you whether or not you leave it there, you know, assuming that the price will flow back in range eventually. Or you can uh, rebalance. Basically, take your take your 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 solar USDC, swap it. You know, so half is solar and half USDC, and then create a new position that is within range. But if you do so, um, you'll realize whatever impermanent loss you had, and you'll have to figure out whether or not you know the amount of fees you earn offsets uh, that impermanent loss. Okay, if everyone, if anyone has any further questions, please, or found this helpful, let me know. Happy to do more videos, happy to answer more questions, and let's go. Thank you.